Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this lesson, we shall be discussing the major themes of the Song of the Women of My Land by Umar Farouk Sisi. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. The point basically is a meditation on the numerous challenges faced by women in the African continent and how they find ways of coping with their pathetic situation. Throughout the point, the ideas of oppression, exploitation, inhuman treatment, servitude, perseverance, endurance, the power of music, and the immortality of art is paramount. We will discuss them one after the other, starting with the immortality of art. After presenting the message of the poem, one is tempted to ask, how do you cheat the tyranny of time? Or how do you prevent the fading away of old ways of doing things? Our poetic speaker answers this question in the concluding lines of his poem. He acknowledged the beauty of literature and the immortality of art as a way of preserving the old ways of doing things to prevent them from extinction or fading away completely. Inasmuch as we are told that the song of the woman was left in the memory of the wind, the poets and other poets use that as an aspiration to write their own verses, which are wriggling in rhythms and melodies, because a greater part of their song has been faded away through the actions of time. However, whatever message that was captured and documented by the poet is going to be eternal and will stand the test of time. Hence, literature or art is the only way to cheat the tyranny of time. Next is the joy in the midst of problems. One theme that is so evident in the poem is the perseverance and endurance of this woman. Despite their numerous challenges, which includes oppression, servitude, and inhuman treatment, they nonetheless go through the thick and things of life without breaking or giving up. We were taken to the fields and plantations where this woman worked. The poet described their labor as servitude, which immediately informs us of the suffering and untold hardship this woman are made to go through. Even though these women go through numerous forms of injustice, they find reasons not to be sad or give up on life. In order to escape their miserable and pathetic flight, they sing songs to entertain themselves. They equally sing of how they work tirelessly on the field. As if this was not enough entertainment for them, or as if this was not enough to cheer them up, they equally warded off their pain, sponged off their anguish, sorrow, and pain by singing and telling stories about their lives. The next theme we will be discussing is the theme of servitude and oppression. Throughout the poem, the work of this woman is portrayed to us as servitude and slavery. Considering the poet's choice of words, and the images they bring to mind. The poets use this powerful personification. When servitude carved the ankles of their soul, to illustrate that there is a master and slave relationship, it further demonstrates how enslaved and victimized these women are. This enslavement and bondage is something they cannot escape because both their body and souls have been shackled. The hopelessness of the condition of this woman was brought to our attention through the following lines. The relation decapitated the epic of their lives. Another theme worth mentioning is the power of time. Time is capable of changing everything 
whether good or bad. In the poem, time is presented to us as a cruel person through the use of personification, since it was capable of changing the beautiful songs of this woman by diminishing its value, leaving nothing more to be desired. The poet opens the poem by hinting readers on the power of time and its ability to wear away the memories of people and eventually leading to forgetfulness. All efforts of this brave and courageous woman to cheat the tyranny of time seems impossible. Since time was able to strip the lyrics and scare the team, leaving nothing more to be desired. Here, the poet gives human attributes of cruelty and violence to time and his ability to take away the lyrics of the woman, leaving nothing more to be desired of the song. Lastly, we are going to discuss the power of music. Music in the African society is seen as a motivator and a booster to enable people to be in the right mood. There are different songs sung at different occasions. However, the songs this woman are singing are songs that are sung to motivate people to work harder and put them in the right mood. Through music, this woman were able to entertain themselves and by extension, they are able to cope with the harsh conditions they are faced with in life. Hence, Omar Farouk Sisi emphasizes on the power of music and its liberating power. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.